Hi guys, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And it's a time of the year we, when we like to play with all those bright colors. Have a wee preview of this amazing design here. Absolutely colorful and bright. I hope you really like to learn how to do the snails. And also, if you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is a lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So let's start. I will show you with the preparation of the tips. So I've got them white because uh, you guys ask me often, like, did they come white? Yes, they come white. Uh, we've got them also on our website as uh, well, which is www.dorotapaliska.com. Uh, so I'm just um, shortening always uh, free edge a little bit and then using a buffer, I'm buffing the tip. But if you don't have them white, you could just uh, use a clear ones and just paint it the color you want. Uh, the white ones are quite handy for the design, so we don't uh, don't necessarily need to paint the background. Um, so uh, that's a quite a big time saver. And I use them uh, for a display case. Okay, so once it's buff, I can remove the dust and I'm using a dust brush. And then we will paint some design in blue for a change. So I'm going to use a blue maybe this one for a change, so that's 237. And just paint this tip blue. It's a really beautiful blue. I got some dust in there, didn't clean it properly. And then give it um, a cure for this one because I will do uh, two different ones. And then for this one, we will use uh, the other blue. So that's uh, 220. And then we will use some turquoise, 236. It's actually a kind of mint color rather than the turquoise, and we will create a turquoise with it after adding some yellow. And the yellow I will use as a pastel yellow, edgy yellow, 233. Because I want to show you how I have created this tip as well. And then using a um, sponge, uh, so I've got lots of different sponges uh, on my um, form. I always like to keep them on the form and I'm trying to pick up the one with the similar color. So that's actually this one. Make sure you remove any dust particles in there. And then we are going to start blending those colors in there. So I'm going up and down, up and down. and then blend that in. If you want the color to be more pigmented, uh, you would just sprinkle it with the clear acrylic powder all over. So the next layer is going to be absorbed much better. You sprinkle it, tap to remove the excess. And you can clean it afterwards, after you cure it, you can either clean it the excess uh, of the acrylic or you can just leave it. OK, 
Okay, and then with the white, I'm going to sponge some background in here. So uh, I will use some paint, um, paint gel and white and a tiny bit of the sponge. So I just need to cut a fresh one because I actually don't have for white. So cut a small piece. And I like to use the cut out pieces always because uh, uh, they are much better than the slidey part. So just put it on my form, pick up a paint on French, and we, we are going to use it for the design later on as well. So I have picked up a decent scoop. And then we will just add some white so it will look almost like a sky. So I'm just picking up a tiny bit of those white and then I'm sponging over it. So it will look like a wee sky. And then give it a cure. So you can brush away the excess. And just use the same colors we have used before. To do the ombre. Okay, up and down and on the sides. If you get some fluff, just remove it and clean your sponge. Because you don't want any fluffy bits and pieces there. And then once you're happy, give it a cure. And also get rid of this form. Probably this sponge will need to go to the bin after <laughs> after that because you can use it only so many times. On our mixing palette, I'm going to grab some red because we will paint a ladybird. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab some red. And also I want some black, of course, as well. Okay, so let's move on into the next part. My tip is cure. Okay, and that's the one where we will paint the flowers. So I'm using the D-liner brush and we will paint the flowers. Uh, we will use the white and with the tiniest drop of the yellow, the previous yellow we have used. Just so it's not pure white. And then indicate the middle of the flower. So I want the middle of the flower to be somewhere here. And then bring all the petals to the middle. So press it hard, give it a little bit of shake and then bring those petals in there. I want them to be decent petals. Okay, 
this is going to be a kind of daisy flower. Okay, so we've got the background, the splash of the color for our daisy. And then the next step is to uh, take some turquoise color, the minty one. Okay, so I've got some mint and we are going to give it a little shadow to it. Just a little shadow. so the flower doesn't feel too empty. <laughs> and then give it a cure. On the one which we've got the background, uh, we will uh, paint just a uh, side of the flower. So just the same. and then give it a flash cure. And a drop of the top coat because I want to give some shadow to my flowers. And the blue mixed with the drop of the black and lots of top coat. And then we are going to paint some shadow. When you're painting a shadow, make sure you paint it in the same direction. So our sunshine is shining there. and then give it a flash. Okay, so our sunshine was coming through this way. Okay, and straight away I'm going to move into the next step. So now we are going to start to paint the inside of the flower. Darker yellow. Mixed with the drop of the red. Ideally, old brush in. I'm going to make it use of the old brush.
and we are painting lots of dots. Flash here. And same in here. Make a really decent middle. Okay, part number two. Actually, I will mix this one. So I'm just going to mix my green color. That's a nice one. And we are just painting the petals. Inside, black mixed with the orange, lots of wee tiny dots. And then cure it. And a green one. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, clean my brush because we can start going into the yellow with the white. Lots of wee tiny dots. Okay, so it looks like a middle of the flower. And then give it a cure. Usually the longer we play with those dots, the nicer results we get. Uh, so I really suggest you take your time and you kind of paint the dots decent. And now we can start painting the ladybird. So I'm picking up a red and start painting the belly.
color all that in. And then give it a cure. And another lady beard. Just so on each tip we've got this uh, red color, so again, so the design flow. And then flash cure it. Black. and pick up a very tiny wee scoop of the black. And you want to paint like a triangle shape. So this is our lady beard face. And then from that we line which shows a little bit of wings, so another triangle. A small amount of the black. And we are painting some legs. white we are going to make it more shiny on the top part and then black and red on the bottom Okay, and then give it um, a flash cure. 
and do the same on the other one. Red and black. And then red and white. Give it a cure. More detail. So we want some white. in the eyes we want some white with the top coat like lots of top coat to show the 3d of the mm, of the ladybird so I have just painted a light spot in there and then using black we are going to paint the dots and then give it a flash cure the dots, clean the brush, white, and some light reflection. Okay, now is the time for a top coat so we can make the design even more 3D. So top coat over it. Give it a cure. Here I'm going to add a couple of the crystals just so it goes with the other design. So a uh, base gel. So a drop of the base gel. Crystals, crystals, where are you? And the crystals I will place this way. I'm going to grab some mixture of the crystals. So I've got a wee tiny almost red crystal there. And then some AB crystals. Just because the lady beard is red. 
I don't want to put too much, just a wee tiny bit. And then give it to this tip, give it a flash cure. <coughs> and then we are going to use some caviar beads and more of a base gel. Mm, that's not this one, that's this one. Do some base gel. And some caviar beads. I'm placing them totally random. I had guys asking me for a design in blue, so I thought I will do it this one, but I, will, I promise I will do more, uh, more in blue. Okay, give it a cure. So just a couple seconds cure. And this one is actually ready for the next part. So I'm going to use the paint on gel. And now we need to add more detail. So first detail is into our flowers. And then give it a flash cure because I wanted it to be uh, quite nice and raised. Top coat over this one. I do not put the top coat over crystals. So I'm trying to pick up a tiny amount of the gel.
came down dots and give it a cure. Do the same on the other flower and then we want our uh, lady beard to be more 3D. So we will use some clear gel. I'm using a fiber clear. You could do it with the top coat as well, depending how raised you want it. So I'm cleaning the brush and then picking up with the old brush a scoop of this clear gel over the lady beard. I don't want to do it too high. Give it a cure. And then same on this one. nice and raised but also not over the top give it a cure and then I can show you the final results of this design I think it's quite cute for a summer so using the UV cleanser we'll remove the inhibition layer actually even put the high shine no wipe top gel over the lady beard so it's much more shiny I didn't cure it properly trying to speed up during the tutorial okay So a top coat over it. Try to don't go outside the lady beard. And now I can show you the final results. Okay, so that's that's the first one. And then the other one as well. So a wee summer design. You can have a look through it. So nice and 3D uh, effect, not over the top as well. And I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye.